Good morning, good morning. Traffic safety expert Trooper Steve here, and we are in Flagler County. I am uh, just east of I-95 at State Road 100 here, and uh, at the intersection of Old Kings Highway. Where, why, why would I be here? Well, it's because one of you guys, a viewer, sent me a question. And I really appreciate that. So if you're joining us again, I'll repeat where we're at. Um, intersection crossroad, uh, large intersection here of Old Kings Highway in Flagler County, right at State Road 100. Large intersection, fairly simple intersection, but a viewer, Susan, uh, sent us an email, well, sent me an email and it made its way, uh, about this specific intersection. And I want to read her question. It's a little long, but... I already checked it out and we're going to be able to really decipher this uh, for her and I really think for some of you guys out there because it's the impatientness, impatientness that is causing the frustration for Susan. So here, this is what Susan uh, sends us. The intersection at State Road 100 going east towards the beach at intersection of Old Kings Road right here in Flagler County. I am literally there right now. We're in the northeast corner of that intersection at the racetrack parking lot. She goes on to say, to make a right turn onto Old Kings uh, on a red, meaning to go south. She wants to go south. She goes, one must go through the stoplight. I really wanted to know since if I don't do it and wait for the green, cars behind me honk crazily. Just a day ago, she had to call the sheriff's office for uh, a situation. This turn worries me, she says. I was told right on red when permissible. I was also told that the view is usually impeded by other vehicles in my left lane to see what might be passing through the intersection with the green light on Old Kings. So she has to use extreme caution, right? If I didn't make the turn, on red, I'd be impeding the other vehicles from making the turn. I wish it was a designated no turn on red. I hope this describes the location exactly. I'd be very interested to see what Trooper Steve's opinion is. I love this because this is detail. This is explaining. She knows her directionals. Thank you, Susan. Um, I've already checked this out. I understand 100% what she's talking about, but I want to show you guys. So let's hit the road and check this out. Can't make a left here, so I'll pull up. And we'll go out the other way. I like how Racetrack's got this red line right here. It keeps other drivers from, uh, from coming here and impeding with the other, but it also provides a visual travel lane. We're going to keep going straight because I don't like uh, making you turn. A little bump. We'll come out here to uh, Old Kings Highway. My goodness, they don't want you making any turns around this place. All right, let's go to make a U turn anyway. Nice truck. Alright, so we're going to make a U-turn head south on Kings Highway here, old Kings Highway. I always say Kings Highway because there's one in Kissimmee where I grew up. Nice U-turn. Okay. So we're southbound on Kings Highway right now. This is not exactly where she was talking, but it is the intersection up here. And you've got to look for signage. So right turn must turn right. We're in this right I'm here, dedicated. So this is not the problem, right? Because there is signage along the roadway that says, hey, this is the lane to go right. So you're gonna pull up, you're gonna come here, there's a yield sign, you don't have to make a complete stop, you're gonna look, is anyone making a U-turn? No? All right, I'm gonna go. All right, this is where Susan, our friend, our viewer is uh, talking about. We're gonna pull a U-turn here. I'm going to pull off to the side. Maybe there's some space. And I think we might actually get out and check this one out because 
I understand everybody else's complaint, but I'm a Susan fan. I'm a big believer if someone does not feel comfortable to make a right-hand turn, they're not required to. They could sit there till that light turns green or until they feel it's safe to do so. You don't know what that person's seeing on their left-hand side. It could be completely blocked. Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on. Please, let's go. All right, thank you very much. Okay, for students talking about, I'm gonna pull over into the shoulder here just for a second because I don't wanna miss this. All right, so we're here on the shoulder. We are facing the direction that Susan's talking about. This is gonna be eastbound State Road 100. We are looking at Old Kings Highway. Susan's question was very clear. See where that car is way out in front there in the far right? So if you stop where you're required to stop, then you are stopping in a place to where you almost cannot completely see the southbound lanes of Old Kings Highway. So what does that mean? Meaning the stop bar is there, the light is the light's red, what are you gonna do? You're gonna stop at that stop bar. If your intention is to make a right turn like that vehicle way out there is, you can do so if you feel safe to do so. It is not up to the other cars behind you to determine whether or not you make that right turn. Now, if an emergency vehicle is coming, obviously you need to move out of their way. But people honk, they get upset, they can't see what you can see and it's nothing, right? So. We are going to, there are twofold. I'm gonna give Susan an alternative to what she's doing so that maybe other drivers don't get upset. Um, but we're gonna, excuse me, I just yawned, bad, that was rude. Also going to then talk about what if you're that other driver behind, all right? So I'm gonna wait for this light to turn red and it is currently green. So traffic's flowing pretty nice out here. I don't see a major traffic issue. But I could understand the uh, obstruction for a person making the right turn. All right, light is turning red. Okay, the light is red. Perfect. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go and approach this with the intention to make a right turn. I wanna show you a few things. As we're here, turning signal's on, right? So you see where that stop bar is? I have to stop here when the light is red. But if I stop here, I cannot see what's coming further. Now, Susan has an option. She could stay here. Or, now that you've made it the complete stop, you are allowed to pull forward. See, is it clear? Is it clear? To me, it's looking pretty clear. I see that BMW. All right, I'm going. I got a question for you. Why is that allowed? What am I talking about? Why was I allowed to make the complete stop and then proceed forward? Let's talk about the stop sign, uh, how the stop sign statue is written, right? There are two parts to a stop sign. Making a complete stop and then yielding right away to anybody out there, okay? So you've done what you were supposed to do. You've made the yield. You've made the complete stop, part one, right? We've stopped our vehicle, but then you're required, then you're allowed to proceed forward to yield right. Because the stop sign is not meant to sit there permanently, right? You're not just, nothing's gonna change the stop sign. It's not gonna turn to a green go. The same is to be said for a right on red. You are required to stop, and if permissible, then yield to anybody else coming, and you could come forward 
sure you're aware of them. But then, of course, you can make that right turn. Susan, I hope you're watching this. I'm going to send it to you. But on the flip, if Susan did not want to pull forward, she doesn't have to. And I, I really hope that other drivers can understand where she's coming from, right? So let's think. Imagine it's you and you can't see, right? You don't feel it's safe to pull forward. The traffic's too busy. You're allowed to sit there with everybody else. You can stay right there at that stop sign or that red light and wait for it to turn green. Nothing says mandatory, required, do this now, okay? We're gonna do it again. I do wanna do it one more time uh, so we can see see it and we're gonna come here. So now we're north on King's Hi Old Kings Highway, approaching State Road 100. We're gonna head west, make a little towards I-95 and uh, do it again. But we're, maybe we'll be able to even see it. But I wanna pull off also and show you a little closer what I'm talking about. So if you're joining us this morning, I am way up in Flagler County, State Road 100 at Old Kings Highway. And we're talking about eastbound traffic out here on State Road 100. Not a bad intersection. People are driving actually really nice. I enjoy any time up here in Flagler. And, but it's the right turn to head south on Old Kings Highway here because the intersection's kind of pushed back there. So if you're trying to make that right on red, sometimes your vision there is obstructed by other vehicles. So Susan, a viewer that lives up here, sent a message asking, hey, am I required to make that run red? I have cars honking on me, at me, makes me uh, really nervous to be out here, and I totally understand what she's talking about. So uh, we were able to do it once, just a second ago. We're gonna do it again for you because it is it's a great opportunity for all of us to really learn. One, as other drivers, if someone is at a red and doesn't want to make the right, guess what? They're not required to do it. It is only if a driver feels safe to do that, okay? But I want to give you, as a driver, the option, okay, what am I allowed to do, right? So here, we're eastbound on State Road 100, approaching Old Kings Road. I have to make a complete stop, right? The light is red at the stop bar. But when I stop at this stop bar, look, I can't see anything coming south on Old Kings Highway, but I'm allowed to make the right turn. So I'm gonna pull forward a little bit. I'm gonna check, see what traffic looks like. Traffic appears to be pretty clear. I'm gonna go ahead and make my right turn. Easy enough, right? This is the kind of stuff I really, it's such a traffic nerd in me, but this is cool stuff, guys. This is where we all get to learn a little bit, see an intersection, and uh, maybe eliminate some road rage out there, people honking. Go ahead, people just walking out in the parking lot here. Sorry, sir. You gotta be careful too, sir. All right. So, look, whenever you guys are walking, I'm always looking, so I'm going to stop, but walking in between cars can be dangerous, so you got to be careful with that. Other people are driving maybe too fast, so just be cautious. All right, so I'm going to pull right over here, and we're going to get out because I want to show it to you. Why? Because we can. So. Flagler, love you guys, this is fun. This is why I do it. So we're gonna take our GoPro, we're gonna get out of the truck, we're gonna go see what's going on uh, out there firsthand, just so I could show it to you and talk you through it a little bit, and then we'll wrap this up. Uh, Susan, I really appreciate you sending this to me because it really was an extremely descriptive email. You knew exactly what you were talking about, and I think that's the coolest thing. And uh, 
I love when people text me and they're watching the stream and they're like, hey, what are you doing? You know I'm live streaming right now. So, <laughs> gotta love it. All right, so I'm gonna take my phone with us, put it there in my, my man pack. I'm gonna plug in our camera here and we're gonna get out and we're gonna check uh, this intersection because it's great. So if, uh, State Road 100, Old Kings Highway out here. And look, if you ever just watch the evening cast, so the four, the five, keep in mind they're taking a very brief clip it of this and putting it on air. I really, really encourage you to come back and maybe push through it a little bit so you can see what we're tackling and you can get the full description. It is a 25, sometimes 30, 40 minute live stream of just me talking. So for the producers and the web team, it's really difficult for them to find the meat and potatoes when we talk about meat and potatoes the whole time, right? So uh, just a little heads up, always follow up, get all the content, head to clickorlando.com and uh, make sure you, you watch some of these because some of them are really, really good. Yesterday's was awesome. So uh, let's hop out real quick. Again, we're here at State Road 100 and Old Kings Highway in Flagler, which is amazing. And, and yeah, so mic check, you can hear me. You can see what I see. Let's go. We're not gonna go close to the road at all, so I'm not overly concerned uh, about traffic. Let's fly back, no, and we're not gonna go that way. So let's come over here. So like I said, we're here at State Road 100 at Old Kings Highway in Flagler. And beautiful, it's beautiful outside, but isn't she beautiful? Results one, live. All right, so we were talking about this specific intersection, right? And it's an intersection that is well-maintained. I, I haven't seen any major traffic problems, but the question was, if you're coming eastbound along State Road 100 here, approaching here and trying to make the right in that right turn lane, and the light is red, when you stop there, people's vision gets obscured because they can't see southbound. Now, that's not a problem, but if you're trying to make the right, other drivers could get a little upset with you, might even start honking. So what we noticed, I say we, because you guys were in the car with me, was that if you're... I need to put better shoes on. Like, I should not be walking around like this. But when you're out here, once this like this uh, yard maintenance vehicle, no problems. It's there in the right travel lane at a complete stop, perfect, right? That pickup truck kind of messing things up. But perfect, if someone pulls in that right lane, you're not gonna be able to see anything. And that can cause some major problems. I almost just busted my butt. Look at that dog. It is gorgeous. <laughs> Such a good boy. All right. So the intersection's kind of pushed back. So once you've made that complete stop at the stop bar, nothing stops you from proceeding forward a little bit as long as you're not obstructing the crosswalk, impeding anything else to see if anything's coming. And then you can make the right. This is the exact same situation that would happen at a stop sign. So I said that a little while ago, right? I use a completely different scenario to describe this one. Florida stop sign law. It has two parts, and that's the part that a lot of people get confused about when if they run a stop sign and they get into a crash, why'd I get cited for running a stop sign? Well, because you violated subsection two, which is yielding right of way to other drivers. I'm gonna cross here. You violated someone else's right away so that would be the year the exact same situation here you've got to stop you have to stop then you're allowed to pull forward but hear me out if Susan doesn't want to pull forward she does not have to I think that's the one of the biggest takeaways I want to put out there for you if someone is in a right lane at a stoplight, whether it's a continuous and they wanna make a right, or if they're in a right turning lane and the light is red, they are not required to make the right turn under red. 
it is just permissible. It is allowed for that driver. Now I get, well, why can't they just do it? Maybe they can't see. One day you might be in that position and it's something we've got to think about. Let's get back in the truck. Super important stuff to consider, right? When we're doing this. A lot of it is based off of driving experience, what you're used to. Uh, age sometimes plays a big factor. Uh, obviously, a lot of our younger drivers take a little bit more risk. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a good thing. A lot of our older drivers, they're not going to risk that. Uh, I do not consider myself a older person, but why risk things if you're just not sure? So often we do stuff out on the roadway and I can't tell you how many times I was told, well, I thought I was going to make it or I saw them. I just thought I had enough space or I think I could go across there, right? No. When we are dealing with traffic and we're doing things out on the roadway, I'm telling you this, it sounds ridiculous, but you have to be a hundred percent every time you're doing something out here, because if not, that's when a crash happens. An accident causes the crash. It's nothing malicious. You are making accidents by not being a hundred percent, by not following minor traffic laws, by not taking maybe the extra safety step and then in return, a crash happens. When we're a hundred percent about things out here, crashes do not happen. We've been out here now, what, 23 minutes. There's no crashes. So when people, biggest thing I would be told, well, they just stopped in front of me, right? And you didn't, so therefore you hit them and you were following too closely. Sign here, you've got 30 days to pay. There is a, every every stream we do i do this there's an underlining like selfishness on the road but to this situation out here flagler county state road 100 old king's highway it's simple preference but we gave susan some tips as long as she makes the stop at the stop bar she is allowed to peek forward so she can see southbound traffic that is not a violation of the law as long as she makes the complete stop at the stop bar then she's good to go. If she doesn't want to go, she does not have to. If someone was honking at her, there was a time that used to be improper use of horn because your horn should only be used for emergency purposes. But you're, you're causing friction on the roadway, extra stress. It's just so not needed. So really appreciate Flagler inviting me out here. Well, I was coming whether you wanted me or to or not. Uh, out here to State Road 100. Really appreciate it. Beautiful, absolute morning out here. Uh, maybe I will go uh, swing by a local PD, say what's up. But if you are looking to have me, Trooper Steve, and Results One visit your community, go to an email. Uh, anyone at News 6, I'll make it my way, but you can always email at asktroopersteve at wkmg.com. Those emails come directly to me. You can email me, S Montiero at WKMG.com or T Evans, my uh, producer at WKMG.com. And we are stacking our calendar for this year. And it, the goal is to embed ourselves within your community and get those results. Uh, some amazing things coming to New Six over the next couple of months. And we couldn't be more excited about it. Just, we're always doing something different. Who else is doing this, right? So you guys have a great day. Love you, drive safe, please. Uh, it is a beautiful Wednesday outside. No rain this week until about Sunday. Meteorologist Candace Campos giving us all that great information. Love her. So uh, you guys have a good day. Always wear your seatbelts. Please have a good one.